What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RustmerTech.com and this is another Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 tricks and tips video. Now in this video I'm going to show you guys how to download and install SkyDrive. Now if you guys don't already know, SkyDrive is Microsoft's cloud-based service. Now a cloud-based service is basically uh, storing and accessing files online on a web server and it's not remotely saved on your computer, but it can be, but uh, those files get stored online and you're able to access them from anywhere as long as you have a web browser. And uh, if you have Windows 8.1, it's already pre-installed and you need a uh, Windows Live account to access it. If you don't have uh, Windows 8.1, I'll show you how to download and install it. So we're gonna open up our browser right now. We're gonna go to Google. And we're gonna type in SkyDrive. You're gonna hit enter or you actually just click on the first link you see. Click on skydrive.live.com here. And uh, we're gonna go to download here, All right? Now down here, Again, Windows 8.1, it's already pre-installed, so you don't need to download it. All you need is a live account to access your SkyDrive. But uh, if you're running Windows Vista 7 or 8, anything older than Vista will not work. But if you're running Windows Vista 7 or 8, we're going to click on this. If you're running Mac OS X, we're going to click on this. But another cool thing, now a SkyDrive is available on iOS and Android devices. So pretty freaking cool. So you can access your file on all your mobile devices now. All right, so I have Windows 8.1 and it's already pre-installed, so I'm not gonna click on anything and install it. But uh, if you guys are running Windows Vista 7 or 8, click on this link, download the file, double-click the file, uh, click on next, next. If you don't have a live account, it's gonna ask you to create one, but if you do have one, you're gonna log in, press next, 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 and you should be done. Same thing with Mac OS X. If you, if you, if you have a Mac OS X, you're gonna click on this link here and follow the steps. If you don't have a live account, you have to create one and just click next, 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 and you should be done. So once you're finished doing that, um, all right, so we're gonna click on this folder here, File Explorer, right? Now you're gonna see SkyDrive on the left-hand corner here. Now it's SkyDrive is stored locally on your computer, but it's also gonna be saved uh, to the cloud automatically. So we're gonna click on SkyDrive, right? So these are the SkyDrive folders here. You can save pictures, documents, you create new folders. So whatever you, you uh, send to here, like whatever you, you, you move here, will automatically get uploaded to your uh, SkyDrive uh, server. And uh, you can access those files from anywhere as long as you have a web browser. And now there's actually support for iOS and Android devices as well. So whatever you upload or whatever you, you, you paste here or move to here will get uploaded to your uh, SkyDrive. Now, I'll show you how to access your SkyDrive. You, there's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, but if, if, you, if you like the Metro UI, uh, if, if you, if you want to use the Metro UI, click on this uh, Start menu here. And you're going to see a SkyDrive icon here. Click on SkyDrive. I'll find whatever SkyDrive icon you have on the, on the right here if you're using Windows 8. Click on it, right? And these, this is the Metro UI uh, SkyDrive interface here. You can pretty much do the same thing. Uh, click into a document you want. You can upload files and do all that cool stuff. But if you're uh, away from your computer and you want to access your files remotely, like from another computer, all you have to do is open up a web browser. As long as that computer has internet, you can access your files. So, so now we're going to open up our web browser. I'm using Chrome. You can use any web browser. It doesn't matter. Go to Google, type in SkyDrive. It should be the first link you see, skydrive.live.com. Click on that. Click on sign in. And if you don't have a, uh, an account, click on sign up but you should have an account. So click on sign in, type in your credentials. I'm gonna type in mine right now. It's at uh, live.com. It's my, it's rosmertech at live.com. That's my username. Then you're gonna type in your password and you're gonna sign in, right? This is pretty much it here. So now you're able to access those files from anywhere as long as it has a web browser. So another cool feature, uh, you can create Word documents here by clicking on this create button, you can actually create folders. You want to create a new folder, click on that and give it a folder name. I'll call mine test. doesn't make a difference. I'm going to create it and it's going to save that folder. So this is the folders here. This is the folder I created. You could double click into it. If, if you don't, uh, then you could drag files here. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's actually, if you want to upload stuff, you just click on upload and you search for, from your files and folders, whatever you want to upload and it'll upload it directly to this uh, folder here. Now, let me go back here. Again, with create, you can also create Word documents, Excel, workbooks, PowerPoints, and more. Now, I'm going to click on Word document here. And this is a completely web-based Microsoft Word. 
uh, program here and you can access it from anywhere and you can edit files I'm gonna type in test and actually test and basically uh, you can type in anything and save it and access it from anywhere and uh, the way you save it is uh, it automatically save itself so once you close this here it's automatically gonna save itself but before I do that, you can also choose to uh, save a copy, right? So if you click on Save As, save a copy to your computer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on Download a Copy to My Computer. So you have a copy on your computer, and you also have a copy on your SkyDrive. So once we close uh, this document here, after we've finished editing, we don't have to save it if we don't want to. It's automatically going to save it. So I'm going to close it. And uh, right here, this is document one, and it saved itself. So I'm going to click into it. And as you can see, test. Again, you could save it to you on your computer. Once you close it, it's automatically going to save. That's the beauty of these little uh, creative things that uh, Microsoft has added. You're able to uh, work on your files, close the documents, and automatically going to save. And you can access these files from anywhere. You can, if, you, if you like using Excel workbooks, you can do that. If you like uh, creating PowerPoint presentations, you can click, do that. And it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, again, you can store any type of file you want and uh, any type of folder, anything, and then you can access it from anywhere, so that's pretty cool. So again, uh, we're gonna close that. We're gonna open up File Explorer here. Whatever you save, you can uh, open up in your uh, your folder here. It's a local folder, and you can open up it by clicking on SkyDrive, and everything will be stored there. And you see, this was uh, stored, uh, I saved a copy on, on the computer. This is the copy that I saved, so again, if you want to upload stuff from your computer, all you have to do is I'll go, let's start from the beginning. You go to this file explorer here, click on it, find on the left hand corner where it says SkyDrive, click on SkyDrive, click on whatever folder you want to uh, tr uh, to move the full file or copy the file to, so it uploads to your SkyDrive. If you want to create a new folder, you can do that. Once you create a new folder, it's automatically going to be uploaded to the SkyDrive. And it's pretty freaking cool. So that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rissin from Mossmartech.com and thanks for watching.